What's poppin', what's crackin', what's brackin', it's your boy, Bugsy Smooth. Welcome back to another video. Back with another banger up in here. Finna spit that good ism. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video, all that good stuff. Support your boy, man. Let's get into today's game. Alright, yo. So this right here, what I want to talk about, man. This right here is the number one thing that's really hindering men in the dating game right now. And this right here is the reason why a lot of guys getting flaked on and wondering what the hell is going on. Bugsy, I'm doing everything right. And she's still flaked. I don't get it. She still lost attraction. What the, what the hell going on, man? I'm going to tell you what's going on. You're too available. What do that mean? What do that mean? You're too available. Bugsy, what the? Huh? I'm too available. Shouldn't the broad be happy that I'm available? Let me tell y'all something, guys. In order for a woman to be attracted to you and her interest to go up is you being unavailable. How the hell do that work? I'm unavailable. So when the hell do I get to see the chick? Let me tell y'all how to play this right here. All right, here go the game. When you approach a woman and you spit that good game in her earlobe, you say, hey, man, my name Bugsy. Well, your name ain't Bugsy, but I'm just going to tell y'all what I do because, you know, what I'm saying y'all listening to me. So I'm going to tell y'all what I do. I walk up on a fly, young, pretty thing. You know what I'm saying? I walk up on her and I say, hey, my name Bugsy. What's your name? She tell me her name, Betsy or some stuff like that. I ain't going to say Twanisha because I don't mess with hood rats, all right? But Betsy or something crazy like that, all right, cool, I rock with that. Betsy sound like some Beverly Hills chick. Let's choose another name, Keisha. I ain't never met no Keisha that ain't got a fatty, by the way. So Keisha, that's fine. Keisha, yeah. Keisha, because she could be a hood rat. She could be a professional. See, Keisha's be on two different spectrums sometimes. So we're going to go with Keisha, all right? Keisha. I say, oh, all right, Keisha, that's what's up. Hey, you be around here sometimes? You know, you, you here often? Sometimes I'll be around here. Hey, you and me should go out sometime. Let's go get a drink. She's going to be like, oh, all right. We exchange numbers. I text her. I go to set a date. I say, hey, what's your availability this week? She say, uh, I was thinking Friday I'm a little available. I say, all right, cool. We're going to go out Friday at 8. What, how does that sound? And she say, um, Friday at 8, I don't know. I'm supposed to be meeting up with my friends. How about Saturday at 9? And I say, yeah, that's fine. Saturday come around. She going to text me and she's going to flake. How, Bugsy? How? That game was smooth, man. It was smooth. What the, what? How the hell she flaking on Saturday? I'm going to tell you why. Because I was too available. See, what I should have said was, oh, you're only free on Saturday. And okay, that's fine. Well, we could just do something next week then. You know, because I'm supposed to be meeting up with some friends on Saturday going bowling. So, well, how about next week? How about next week sometime? You know, we'll, we'll figure it out. You know what's going to happen? She's probably going to come back and say, you know, Friday at 8 works. Because now her interest went up. Now she's thinking, damn, I'm not that hot enough. What? what he, he see how I'm looking. You know, he see the body thick. He see the booty fat. He's, he sees that I have a pretty face. What he got better to do than hang out with me? He going to be with his friends over me? I gave him an alternative date. How dare he? I got to see what this man all about. See, this is what essentially goes through a woman's mind. All right, guys, when things like that happen, now she knows that you are telling her directly, you weren't that hot to me. I see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, who cares? I got other options. That's what screams to a woman's head that you're pre-selected. Now she's curious about you. All right. She's curious because you're unavailable. Another thing that displays unavailability. You see a woman on Thursday. Let's say y'all go out on Thursday, right? You go out on a date with her on Thursday. 
You don't hit that woman up and say on Saturday, hey, had a nice time with you on Thursday. Are you free Sunday at eight, guys? Mm. Don't you ever do no stuff like that. Because Thursday, you met with her, had a good time. She had a good time. Her interest went up. You text her Saturday to see her Sunday. Now, all of a sudden, that interest is gone. Finito. Vanished. Over. In the trash. She ain't trying to see you. She gonna flake. Because now she sees how desperate and needy you are. There's so many men out here, guys, that are desperate, needy for a relationship. See, when you're too available, guys, you got to understand, when you're dealing with a certain caliber of women... Whether they nines and tens, even the eights. When you dealing with them type of women, they got a lot of options. And all those options are throwing themselves at these women. So in a rush to get into a relationship with these women. So in a rush to sleep with these women. So in a rush to get a date. So in a rush to get her number. Guys are so they comfortable with a girl's number nowadays. It's sickening, yo. They ain't even trying to settle. They're they just trying to be a texting buddy to these women. All right. There's so many guys out here who lost their balls. All right, guys. No cojones. All right. So you set yourself apart when you are unavailable. See, even you right now, as you is. Think about that girl that you met out in the mall and you had sex with within 10 minutes of meeting her. And then she hits you up and she say, are you free tomorrow? I wanted to get together. I, if you can see this woman whenever you want to see her, are you going to value her? No, you're not. You're not going to ever think you're going to say, I got this in the bag. This woman ain't about nothing. I could just hit this woman whenever I want. There's no value on her. Women are innately going to think that you are a low value man when you're available too much. All right, guys. So don't fall for the availability trap that these women be setting. See, a woman will throw you an alternative. She'll say she's not free. And if it's a nine or a 10, guys, more women ain't doing nothing with their time. I'm just going to keep it 100 with y'all. Women be boring as hell. Their lives are boring. I'm going to say that right now. They ain't doing nothing but sitting up on Instagram, looking at stories and comparing themselves to other models on there that are hotter than them and wondering, damn, I'm sad. I, can, I can't look like this girl. So let me go ahead and post a picture so I can feel better about myself. They consume their day on that. OK, and the thousands of dudes who DM them on Instagram, women ain't doing nothing but sitting up in the house being bored. They have boring lives, believe it or not, guys. And then maybe Saturday, Sunday, they go out to the club, get a free section because they look good. And that's that. All right. They really don't got nothing going on because a bunch of those men that are in her DMs asking her out or approaching her. She's saying no to 99 percent of them. There is that one or two dudes that show something different that spikes her interest. The unavailable dude is both those guys. All right. You got to be one of those men. All right. You got to be one of those men. OK, now this is if this is a woman who already finds you initially attractive, guys. I ain't talking about the woman who looks at you. and You don't meet her physical type. All right. If you already meet a woman's minimal attraction level and, and, and that conversation is flowing and she's interested and you go set a date and she counters, she says, I'm not available that day. And then she says, what about Sunday? And you agree to that date. You lost. You lost. You can't be that available, guys. You can't be. When a woman, you text a woman, good morning, hope you have a productive day, hope you have a good day or whatever, and she texts back, and you text back two minutes after that, you're too available. That drops her interest too. If a woman calls you and you pick up on the first ring, you're too available. Her interest going to drop. She's going to think, this man ain't got nothing else going on. Hmm. He got no purpose, no drive, no grind, no ambition. What the hell he doing? Lowers her attraction, plummets it, guys. I don't think you understand. Anytime you're too available, it goes back to your value, guys. These are major, major L's that you're going to take if you're too available. You are never going to sleep with a woman being too available in today's market. In today's sexual marketplace, if you're too available, you're going to be beating your meat for a long time. All right, guys? Like, comment, subscribe, man. Holla at your boy. Share the video. I'll holla at y'all in the next video. Peace.